watching this video right now, it is probably because you are involved in a project in which you are using a software known as Blender. With Blender, it is a 3D modeling and animation software. I am here today to give you the basic overview of using 3D modeling aspects of Blender. So right now what I want to do is see if I can bring up Blender through the Windows 8 menu. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, this actually might take a minute for me to find. I've got a lot of apps here. But first thing I want to show you on is the selection model. Through the selection, you will be able to get different. So now that you see I've brought up Blender, you will see a cube here. You start with a cube every time you enter Blender. And I'm going to show you the simple ways of how to select certain parts of this cube. We're going to go in a bit more now, in a more detail. Uh, to select a whole object, you want to be in object mode. But if you want to edit it, there's an edit mode. So let's say I want to change this cube into something that looks like a wing or a space fighter or something. So what I'm going to do is over here you will see vertices, edges, and faces. Let's hit A to deselect everything. Of course A is select all and deselect all. So I am on vertice right now. Vertice is a single point on the cube. You can hold shift to select multiple of these. However, a vertice is just one point. If you drag it, here's what happens. Control Z to undo. Let's go to edges. Edges are self-explanatory, as you can see. Um, I'm not even making a wing or anything, I'm just showing you uh, how to select different parts of your object that you incorporate into Blender. Finally, this face. Face is a real important factor when working with Blender because you can do subdivisions within the face also. I would say most common for being dragged down. Um, out of all the ones to select, face, vertice, or edge, uh, vertices, edge, or face, face is more common to select. I found where exactly to get the subdivide. What you want to do is, if I could click out, you want to go into File, User Preferences, and under input you type in subdivide in the search bar when you type in subdivide these two will come up you want to make sure you have unsubdivide as comma and subdivide as period just to help you remember uh, how to, you know the hotkeys for subdividing and unsubdividing now go back to the cube I'm going to show you how to do that subdivide take a look at this cube how it's one unit I'm going to press my period key and now it is four pieces. I'm gonna press period key again. Now I've got 16 pieces. I believe that key I might have found it myself. So since I've unsubdivided as a hot key, I'm actually going to press comma and see what happens. Not exactly the perfect unsubdivide, but it does add for difference. Does add for difference. I think I just found out how one of my friends made a chaos emoji. I would like to share with you a couple other hotkeys useful when using Blender. So once again, we are using our cube. One thing you do want to take note when you want to move your object, go to object mode to simply move it around. Uh, blue arrow for vertical. Uh, as you see, the red axis here will parallel with the red arrow, same with the yellow arrow with the yellow axis that will be moving it. Now for the editing that I want to share with you would be uh, one hotkey in object mode, one hotkey in edit mode. And of course I selected them invertly from what I said. Anyways, so I want to show you what the E key would do on its own. Uh, right selecting your cube, press A to deselect all, and let's select a face, because this is primarily what it would work for, from what I would acknowledge. Actually, yeah, it's most notable from the face, but you can do it with the vertices or edge as well. 
So we're going to press the E key. And not only does it drag out, but it creates a whole other section. Let's try this with a uh, edge. A nice two-dimensional expansion of what we see here. Back to face. Oh look, this has a face now. Nice. So we're going to control Z to get rid of that. And now we're going to do a join. Um, best way how I could imagine arbitrating a join file would simply be in a simple manner. You want to go back to object mode with whatever finished piece you have after you're done editing it. And you want to add, let's say, another piece. Let's say a cone. I'm going to use a blue arrow in object mode to bring it up and use the other arrows to center it roughly around the object you want to merge it with just because you want it to look at least a bit realistic for when you try to merge it, yeah? So now that we have it in position, in object mode you right click and shift click to get both objects or how many other objects there are. And over here to the side you will see join. Which hotkey should be J? Nope. That's not the hotkey for it. So you have to go over to the sidebar and click join once you're in object mode. I have to emphasize you must be in object mode in order to join. Now when I try to move these, it's all one piece now. And now I want to show with you a few works, uh, actually just two works I've made on my own. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hoped it helped with your Blender adventures. Thank you for watching.